Hey, Erica. Erica, are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I could take a shower. I just, uh... Erica, I, I, I can't stop thinking about... about what we saw in that cabin. I'm the sheriff. I'm supposed to protect everyone. What was I supposed to do, huh? What else could I have done? I thought the fucking towers were in enemy number one. I've been trying so hard to protect the perimeter, and now... <laughs> now... And now this! Of course it wasn't. I've been trying so hard, Erica. Keeping order around town. Covering all the bases. How could I prepare for this? <laughs> what else am I supposed to do? Well, say something. You're supposed to help me, damn it! You were off helping some lady with an assault charge while I try to find out how two teens got murdered! The killer could strike again! We have to stop him before he does! Oh, please! You and I both know who it probably is. It's that fucking August Flynn. There doesn't have to be a correlation. He's a murdering psychopath. I shouldn't have let him go today. I should have. <laughs> Erica. Erica, I'm sorry. I, I just... I'm, I'm lost. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Please, help me, Erica. I, I don't know where to go from here. I can't accept being useless. I'm the sheriff. I feel like I might throw up. Oh god, no. Ugh. I think I'll just uh, go to bed. Ugh. Oh, hello. Do you work here? Nice to meet you, deputy. My name's Liam. Liam Batale.
Oh, don't worry. Even though I'm a potato, I don't bite unless you want me to. Right, you've already asked me twice if you could help me with something. Maybe you can. I'm looking for Sheriff Jones. No, nothing like that. Actually, my family and I heard about the recent murders. So awful. I'm so sorry you have to deal with a tragedy like that. We want to help with the investigation, however we can. Well, no. I just meant if you need any resources, money, equipment, etc. We'd be happy to provide whatever we can. A prisoner? Actually, I... Hmm. I might know of a place. I, uh, I'm not sure. Let me get back to you on that. I, we, that was horrible. I guess none of us knew how to react. Ugh, better late than never, right? Oh, I, uh... Julian said there was a misunderstanding. That's all I really know. Why? What do you think happened? Still, I'm really sorry for whatever happened. I know my brother can be brash sometimes. Say, how long have you been a deputy? You seem experienced. Were you in law enforcement before the contingency? Oh, please, call me Liam. Do you mind if I come inside too? It's getting hot out here. Really? But... So... I suppose... Well... <laughs> Hell yeah! Hey!
Really? Here's an idea. Oh. Right. <gasps> Good to hear. I... Uh... Hey. Oh. Well. Huh? This is impossible! Let's go! Really? Hmm. Right. But... About that. Um, hmm. I wonder...
interesting. Not cool. I need you to take a leap of faith with me. What are you doing? What? What? can help. You're scared. Explain what you said to me before. What do you know of my dreams? You 
unusually strong-willed. Don't you understand that your fortitude is why I admire you? I can't cast a spell over you. I can't frighten you with my teeth. You're much too strong for that. From before the contingency? We are not the same. How do you know any of this? Are you... all right? Hey, wait! What are you doing? Lord. You need to get the fuck out of here. For someone with omniscience, you are unfathomably foolish. My father, Gustav Batail. That's right. I can't comprehend how you would know any of this, but if we truly cared for each other and you learned of Gustav, then surely you know we keep him there for a reason. We made a mistake. He got free. It will not happen again. And now? You know far too much, and I fear there's more that you aren't saying. What will you do with this knowledge? That's not good enough, Erica. What's going on over here? I'm handling it, Charlotte. Really? Then why is the door to the dungeons <laughs> wide open? Erica claims to have memories of another timeline, another reality. Oh, I see. I suppose our dungeons are the next best thing to the loony bin. 
I believe her. She knows things she couldn't possibly know otherwise. Really? Like what? She knows about Dad. In that case, she knows far too much. Charlotte, what is she talking about? A telephone! She's insane, obviously. No, I saw your reaction, Charlotte. What is this about a telephone? You do really believe her over me? I can tell you're hiding something, Charlotte. What's this phone? Can we really? Get out? Why should I tell any of you? Do you really want to leave? Your friends? August Flynn? Really? You see? She's mad. Deal. Liam, Erica, you two leave and sort this out. Charlotte, I think you and I need to have a talk. All right, let's go, Erica. Seriously, you think I can let you waltz back to the sheriff after what just happened? You said you would tell me how to get out of Batail if I protect you. When you say protect... I can't make any guarantees, but I can try. Clear his name? He's the Heartbreaker. It's not that simple. If we let Gustav out of prison, he'll wreak havoc. More people will end up dead, I promise you. Besides, are you gonna tell everyone we're vampires too? Mayor Ward thinks it's best to keep our secret from the town. I think that's a smart choice. All right, listen, I have an idea. There are rumors of strange monsters appearing around the perimeter sometimes. Have you heard those? Right, okay, so you know what I'm talking about. As a vampire, I can do things. Spooky things. I think I could fake some sort of monster attack. If you help me, we could get Sheriff Jones to think that the monster killed Jessica and Gary. But we can't give him Gustav. And how else could we clear August's name?
I doubt it. He doesn't know about vampires. I plan to totally freak him out. He wouldn't think a human was involved at all. Anyway, if something goes wrong, you'll help me, right? And then you'll tell me how to get out of Batel. Ugh. Don't tell Charlotte or Julian about this. They'd go postal. But damn it, they hide things from me all the time. I'd rather ask for forgiveness than permission. But it's best that they never hear about this at all. Fine. It's a deal. Are you okay? Hey, babe. God damn it! Ugh. About that. My friend. What? This is all so much. I believe. So... Well... Erica... Really? <sighs> there is no true world.
Do go on. No turning back now. Huh? About that. No way. Whatever. Listen. Huh? I'm so sorry. Bastard. But... I... I did not expect this. Are you crazy? Uh, I can heal it most of the way. There might be a small mark, but it won't be obvious. Hold on, you mean... I really drank from you before? In your memories or whatever. Were we together? Oh, really? I'm 
so sorry. Usually I'm more careful. Listen, you're tense, understandably, but it's not a good idea for me to drink from you like this. You'll be uncomfortable. You'll struggle. Your heart rate will go up, making the blood... Let me relax you. I can use my influence to make you more comfortable. Thanks. Erica, you have such beautiful eyes. God, you smell good. Easy there, almost done. Are you okay? I'm sorry, I tried to stop early, you're just... Wow. <laughs> you bet. I feel like I could jump over the moon right now. Right. Sorry, old girl. Erica? Erica, can you hear me? Erica! Erica! As ready as I'll ever be. Erica, are you all right? Why are you chasing something in the woods? It's probably just a deer or something. How could I forget? I... Uh, I don't know.
Oh, God. Oh, look! That... that was... It was a monster! Sheriff Jones, are you okay? I'm not... I can't... I'm going home. Just get it over with. Caterus Peripus. You say one more word. Honestly, I think he needed it. Did you see him this morning, Erica? That man is... defeated. I almost feel sorry for him. Almost. Erica, you freed me. Again. No, not at all. But I think I'm in love with you, all the same. Mr. 
sorry. I got caught up in the moment, I suppose. Yes, I can't imagine what you're experiencing. It must be exhilarating. Will you tell me in detail how we killed all the vampires? Ah, yes. I suppose you're in love with Julian and Liam, too. And Maddie, by the way, she's not a vampire. Don't worry, I can get used to the idea. Uh, polyamory, I mean. Vampire lovers, though, uh, that's a lot to swallow. Really? This is interesting. <laughs> Where to? Ah, yes, the Patel Mansion. You want to reunite with the others? I suppose. But something's bothering you. What is it? When you dialed the phone number in your vision, did you do it by memory? If you didn't memorize the number in your previous life, then you can't remember it now. How did you get the ring and number last time? Hmm. In that case, let's hope they both want to help you again. Marvelous. Hey! <laughs> so? I suppose. Fine. But... Think this through. A fair point. <sighs> um, well... Anyways... Right. Say what? Hmm. Hmm. What? So? <laughs> 
damn it! I can help. Yes. Well... No turning back now. Yeah. But... But... Things were different. Um... I approve. My friend. This is all so much. Absolutely. Really? Mm, not so sure. But... Let's do this. It's okay.
Right. Erica. Hmm. Absolutely. Now then. Interesting. Let's go. You got this. This is what you've wanted for so long. Go ahead. Do it. Error code ASHREI. This number has already been used. Extension not. Is something supposed to happen now? Maybe these vamps are playing a trick on us. Maybe Julian gave you the wrong number. No. It should have worked. Fuck! You're that disappointed. I told you, Liam. You wouldn't be able to come back. Guess I got caught up in the moment. No. No, 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 you said this would work! You said this would work! Why did I let myself go along with this? Why did I let myself think any of this craziness might be real? I must confess I find myself relieved. It would have been a shame to leave Patel just as soon as things got interesting. Don't worry, Maddie. The power of love will keep us all strong, or something like that.
I don't know. In all your memories, you have no better understanding of the contingency? Do you really want to leave so badly, brother? I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I don't belong here. When I left with you, Erica, what else was different? As far-fetched as all this sounds, I do believe that could happen. I can't apologize for what I haven't done yet, Liam, but I'm sorry if I ever made you feel like you don't belong. Erica, you are a remarkable woman. For your sake, I'm sorry this didn't work. For my own sake, I'm glad you're staying. But I also don't want Charlotte to kill you. And based on what I know and what you've just told us, that sounds like a very real possibility. Hmm. And by reconcile, you mean... I'm not sure what else happened in this memory of yours, but that is a lot to ask of me now. She's right, Julian. Every time we decide to spare his life, more people die. Jessica and Gary were only his latest victims. What will you do now, Erica? Easy. I wanted to check on you after we left the tower, but you stayed in there a long time. Oh, well, I got antsy and decided to wait for you here instead. I guess I wondered if you would come back here in the first place, to him. There are other ways to deal with him. Sorry, just kidding. Do you love him? He's not your responsibility, Erica. You saved his life. What he does with it now is up to him. Don't let him drag you into his pit of despair. Thank you. 
knew it. I knew you two were conspiring somehow. Shut up! I'm not gonna be calm about this. You're embracing a fucking murderer! How could you do this, Erica? This man murdered civilians in cold blood. Then he killed my friends. Finley, Miller, Gant. I should give you a bullet for each one of them, you son of a bitch! You've lost it, Erica. First the weird dreams, believing you're psychic or something, then the sneaking around behind my back. I'm not the one going crazy. You are. And from the looks of it, this maniac is driving you further. God help me, I am not gonna let that happen. It's you two. Is that bourbon I smell? Maybe. Can I have some? Fine. Come on in. Two lost dreams. Huh? Oh, I remember this from your notes. That sounds sad. I don't know. It didn't really feel like a leap. More like a stumble. To love and companionship. Oh, thank God. I started to worry we'd hold those glasses forever. So, you had relationships with all of us from today. Liam, Julie, and me... <laughs> August? Huh. So, uh... Remind me what you and August did together. We killed all the vampires. I thought we told him to walk through the towers. Hmm. I didn't realize that. 
It's kind of fucked up. In one life you kill someone, in another you love them. For real? Wow. I always knew I was a good fighter, but I didn't know I could take down a vampire. And me, right? She might, but I'm not ready for that. Not sure I'll ever be. Fine. So long as you don't mind me watching and helping. Erica, what's wrong? What? I... I didn't know that. I know Charlotte found a strange chamber in the mines on the day of the contingency. She said it was dangerous, and she wouldn't let me inside. Erica, think about this. Did you ever press the button in your other lives? Oh, well, I can understand why. If that button lifted the towers, it's dangerous. Who's to say pressing it again will lower them? Even if it did lower the towers, what then? What if the world outside is full of more vampires, or worse? Erica! I can't let you do this! What's going on? You don't know what you're talking about! If all of you believe in the power of visions, then you should not press that button. I had visions that day. I saw monsters beyond our wildest nightmares. 
They came into Vitell and they tore us apart. They drove us insane. I saw a portal between worlds. When it opened, it unleashed some sort of abysmal power. I can't explain it, but I felt it. And I've never been more scared of anything in my life. I pressed that button to protect us. Those towers keep us safe. I can't believe you hid this from us, Charlotte. I did it all for your own good. Julian, look at me. You should have told us. You should have let us decide what to do next. Erica, I'm with you. Let's do it. Let's press the button. No, no! I won't let you! Julian? You bore this burden for long enough, my darling. Let us bear it for you now. We... we could all die. Or we will all wake up from a nightmare. Let's go.
It would have had to have been as before. No, <laughs> just fucking absolutely butchered that one. You wanted bloopers, I give you bloopers. I am nothing if not a person of the people. There's some sort of mechanism on the left and right side, like a... Oh, damn. <laughs> I just glazed over the fact that he fucking dies in the trailer. Oof. All right. You ready for this? <laughs> Y'all ready for this? <laughs> that was a weird one. Just gonna sip my tea over here. Alright, here we go. Back from the dead is Bradley Jones. Ah, uh, this is badass. I love reverse tragedies. So without further ado, here's Bradley Jones in his own route. Trains haven't run on that line for some time. More than a decade, I reckon. More than a decade. In fact, if you look on my website, choochootruth.com, you can find all the nitty-gritty details about a certain Thomas and a buttload of conspiracies. You don't have to take my word for it, but you should. What even is real? Are the towers real? Are vampires real? Are either of you two real? I'm freaking out, man! Alright, I'm sorry. I had a Red Bull. <clears throat> Very well. I'll try to act less like a badger and more like a harmless beaver. Damn town. Damn like a beaver. See, I'm already halfway there. Erica, don't just stare! Hand come if- Quiet down, everybody. I know this might be strange. Kind of strange like a Canadian voicing a Southerner. But bear with me now. They do as much as they can together. They scheme. They fight. They make up. They fuck. But I wouldn't give to have a bond like that with someone. <coughs> Liam, no. He'll... He'll deal with you. Oh no, fireworks! Guys, no, no fireworks, not now! I know we just got out of the red zone, but please do not celebrate with fireworks! Oh god, why? Why has something happened? Wait till this fucking motorcycle goes by. I'm not who you think I am. I inherited a dying business from my father. And I did everything I could to use it while I still was not eating people all day, every day. I don't know. I, I... As I told Mrs. Murdoch, I think we're too late to stop those teens from sleeping together. Though, if we hurry back to our place, we can't stop ourselves from sleeping together. <laughs> Really? You think we care about any of that? I love garlic. Garlic breadsticks, mm, ah, beautiful. But I will have to insist that you remain on your staff <laughs> if you still haven't found the kimisink. <laughs> I don't know what that read was, but I'm going to do it again because I kind of liked it. I feel like she's like patting her on the shoulder like, oh, you, you sweet little thing, you. You're so weird. I'm so weird. This is so weird. What's this? What's this? What's this? There's something in the air. Uh, they kiss. Well, that's him so unique and spied. After all, you know what they say about keeping your enemies close. That's why my teddy bear is right next to me. <laughs> Don't judge. Don't judge. We don't have to venture into the danger zone. <laughs> the danger zone. Shout out to Kenny Loggins, man. <clears throat> you have no idea what's out there. Something that... <laughs> My stomach. That's what it was. My stomach is outside the towers. Beware. How could you do this, Erica? This man murdered civilians in cold blood. Then he killed my friends. 
Then he comes and steals my girl. On my fucking root! I survived death for this shit and you're gonna cheat on me? Yes. That was a weird one. Please. Please just let me go out on my own terms. This was heartbreaking. Why did you do this? Why would you do this to my boy? I was not prepared, and now I'm all like sad, Gabe, sad. But this was a lot of fun. Truly an honor. And I guess this is Gabe James, uh, Liam Batale, bidding you adieu. Bonsoir.